Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel Dream of Crafts. My name is Deanna and today I am coming to you with another hashtag set more makes. Please um, go ahead and join all the other artists that are creating and that use the hashtag set more makes. You can use that also to join in on the fun or if you just want to go in and see what everybody's been up to just use that hashtag. I want to thank Jillian Norwood and I will leave a link to her in the description box below. She is the one that started Set More and Makes. So we want to thank her and please go show her some love. And all of the other makers that are enjoying this, this event. So let's get to it. And I will show you what I've been up to. So I have been creating. Um, I showed this one here the, these snowflakes but there was no box so since last week i've created a box for this one in addition to that i created 12 snowman tags and created a box for that and then i also created a gingerbread tags and a box for that so let's go ahead and look at these this is just a review of these there was uh, 12 tags Six designs and I used Peachy Keen stamp and I'm trying to grab that out so I can tell you what it was again just in case you didn't see it last week it was the happy snow couples PK-1446 so that is what I used for their faces and I will leave links to my I created these all on Cricut so I will leave links to this snowflake one which I think I had a link to that but now there's a box in there but I will leave a link to the snowflakes that I created and the box in the description box below I will also leave a link to these tags so I did not, I was not the original creator of these tags, but I did go in and change so you don't have to lay the, the black dots on all singly. You can just do them all at once. So I did do that. And I also created the box that 12 tags will fit in. So if you want less tags, you'll have to adjust the box. If you want more tags, you'll have to adjust the box. Um, but other than that, 12 tags will fit in this box nicely and I use my white gel pen to create them the highlights on those and um, for the joy and the snowflake I used my creative times and it was Christmas charms MCT D 474 I also used some silver twine this I got from AliExpress, but I know that Timu carries it and other places carry it. You can get a huge amount of it on Timu for under $2. So, and let's see, for the gingerbread, I just um, edged it with uh, Ranger Distress Ink Walnut Stain. So let's take a look at these ones. Again, 12 tags. For this one, I used the same My Creative Time charms dies and I used the little gingerbread one and the joy for this one so again with this I did not create this tag I went in I resized it to the size I wanted I did however design and create the box that is also included with this tag so if you go in and I'll leave a link in the description box for this for my Cricut also so, and each one will make, this one makes 13 tags, so you have one for the top of the box. This one makes 12 tags, and then the, it also includes the gingerbread face, but it's larger to accommodate the box. So, those were all be included on that. So, that I, that's what I've been working on. These are, again, for, I want to get way ahead of my Christmas um, gifts and stuff for teachers and things so that's what I'm working on in addition to that I also created some cards now these they, I'll leave a link for my tutorial on these it's a short tutorial I'll leave a link for that these were also I created these in my Cricut 
and these cards will be at the five minute, five point five five minute mark. So I created the text. I didn't do anything on the inside, and then for the outside layers, I just use my um, my trimmer. So the Cricut will cut this. This is just a Tim Holtz die, and but the Cricut will cut this, and then the little red berries I just used a regular this was a Dollar Tree paper punch so that's the perfect size for those berries I saved my cutouts from these and then I created some small whoops some small gift cards so don't throw those away you can always create and then these pieces of paper the green and the red were scraps from cutting these bases out so, and I used eight and a half by 11s for these. Uh, and the white base is just, just the card stock. So, but there is a, a tutorial on this. These are not in there yet because I created those afterwards. Again, I will leave a link to the cutout for this. In that first part of that video, there is also this tag. This one is from a die set that I got, but I loaned it to my cousin, so I don't have it in there. But the description for this is in that other tutorial that I'll leave a link to. So that's what I've been up to. I hope you guys are having fun and and uh, creating, creating, creating. I don't do much Valentine stuff, so this is the perfect time of year for me to catch up and get a bunch of my extra Christmas stuff done. Uh, thanks for jumping in and seeing what I've been up to. And I look forward to seeing what all of you have been up to, too. Blessings. Love you. Bye.